These days, everyone and their grandmother is trying to build a brand online, get more exposure for themselves, and share their interests with online communities. And even though we all have access to the same social media platform, some people are exponentially outgrowing and taking up much, much more space on the internet than others. Now, even though I believe that the majority of people out there just don't have a good core fundamental understanding of what it takes to build a brand online, I have seen so many people that have massive potential but just keep making these crucial mistakes which holds them back from actually going ahead and getting the exposure and getting the growth which their content deserves. With that being said, I wanted to go ahead and make this video with what I believe to be the five biggest mistakes people make when they're trying to build a brand and grow an audience online. Hello, my name is Carl Hinkson. If this is your first time on my channel, this is a space which I created to share more information about personal branding, personal development, social media growth. I try to make these videos based mostly on personal experiences as well as things that I learned from my mentors and as I know that you are a busy young hustler getting after your bike, I try to keep all of my videos to under five minutes. With that being said guys, I highly recommend you watch all the way to the end of this video because I will be cramming as much information as I can into this small segment. The first mistake people make comes down to just consistency. Building a brand is actually very similar to just building your body you can have all the information in the world if you don't go to the gym every single day and put in the work you won't see a transformation in your body if you don't show up online on a very consistent basis you will not see an improvement in your brand. Now the consistency which is necessary and best for growth on different social media platforms varies. So for instance, on Instagram, posting one time a day might be fine. TikTok, if you really wanna get big growth three to five times per day is probably best. And YouTube, if you can consistently post one to two videos per week, you should be in a pretty good spot. You wanna build a brand, you wanna play at a high level in the social media game, consistency is just the bare minimum non-negotiable. The second mistake I see people struggling with is having weak branding. Now when it comes to branding guys you want to make sure that your voice is consistent your fonts are consistent your colors are consistent basically everything that you put on the internet should be of a very consistent nature it usually takes somewhere between 7 to 12 interactions online for people to understand what your brand is about and to actually buy into it this is why having consistent themes that you put out there and putting them out consistently are so important if you actually want to get people to wake up to the reality of what it is that you are doing and subscribe on whichever platform it is that you are putting out your content and on that note coming along very nicely as mistake number three is just having weak content guys as social media becomes more and more competitive it's just so important that you put out amazing content content doesn't only have to be amazing from the point of production value but you also need to make sure that you are putting out things that people really want to see you're talking about things that people have as problems a lot of people are putting out content about themselves things like get ready with me watch me do my makeup and even though you look at other influencers that are having success doing that you didn't see when they were just putting out valuable content which is most interesting and valuable to people in the early stages. So try to make sure that every single piece of content you put out is as high quality as possible and that it addresses a problem that your target audience has. The fourth mistake I see people making is having a brand which lacks brand market fit. Now when I say brand market fit, I mean some people I see make brands which are so left field, which are so original in thought that it's actually hard for anyone to conceptualize and understand exactly what your brand is about. Guys, there's nothing true truly new under the sun in nature. I feel like the best way that you can go about building a brand, especially in the early stages, is to just borrow inspiration from some of the brands which you see are actually killing it, which are actually producing amazing work and growing very quickly and changing it in a way that you know will appeal to a slightly different audience or will appeal to an existing audience in a slightly different way. Once you've built up a good foundation and a good basis for your brand, then you can start bearing off and go on to create something truly original. And the fifth and last mistake, which I see so many people People making is not monetizing their brands. I'm not telling you that you have to go ahead and monetize your brand straight away guys but you need to start thinking about your online presence as a business. You should have at least some idea of how you will monetize and not just one idea of how you will monetize probably two to three different ideas about how you could monetize your content, how you can monetize the skill sets that you develop from creating content. The truth is guys your brand is a business and if you really want to get to the place where you have high-end exposure you have to be able to invest in your brand monetarily put money in to get results out. So I see so, so many people not thinking about what the monetization will be at the end, then they actually become successful in building up a brand and they're not sure how to monetize it. I've been in this place in myself as well. And even though I would say it's just like any other skill set, something that you will develop over time, having an idea about 
what you want to monetize with and how you're going to be bringing in money from early stages is going to save you a lot of headache and actually allow you to scale much much more exponentially once you have money coming in that you can reinvest into your brand those are my five tips for today guys i really hope that this video is under five minutes i really try to pack a lot of value into it if you got value from this if you have any questions queries or comments please leave them down in the comment section below always appreciate your guys's feedback on my videos let me know what you want to see in future videos be sure to check out all of my socials which are down in the description below and i will see you guys in the next one Thank you.